Marianne Nyirangoragoza had 10 children and was married. Eight of her children were killed along with her husband and she took the remaining two to her relatives because neither she nor her other relatives were being hunted. So she believed they would be safe there, but they killed them as well, leaving her destitute and alone. She would later flee to Zaire, now the DRC, and was fortunate enough to be repatriated by the RPF in Hotanyi. Returning to Rwanda, she found that she had no one and nothing, leaving her with little reason to continue living. But the government came to her aid, building her a house and providing for her welfare. In her old age, Marianne was taken to a nursing home where she would live with others her age and socialize with them, something she was grateful for. She decided to write her will and name the only person she knew she owed the most, His Excellency Paul Kagame. Marianne died in July this year at the age of 73, and no one other than the local notary who helped her draw up the will knew that her heir is Paul Kagame. That is until on Tuesday. President Paul Kagame has decided to use the property that Marianne left him for the benefit of local residents in the area. Local residents are happy that the president is now officially their neighbor. With her final will, Marianne has indeed left a powerful legacy and those who grew up around her say she always cared for other children as if they were her own. They say choosing the president as her heir was indeed a fitting way for her to leave all those in the area with something that they will all benefit from.